Hi, this is Eric Hovland again here at the Florida Aquarium. And today we're going to be talking about green turtles. And I've got Paula here to help me. Paula's a biologist here at the aquarium. The reason we called them green turtles was years ago when they were still hunted for food and they have a fat and fleshy fat that is very green and rich. This turtle is called T-Rex and it has really short little flippers. Now this is a turtle that would not make it on its own out in the wild. You can see that it's had a run in with something that made it lose its front flippers. And what probably happened there is it got entangled in fishing line or rope or even plastics that can occur out in the wild. And as a result, the front flippers had to be removed so that the animal could continue to live. But I can tell you it's having a great life here at the Florida Aquarium. And right now, Paula is feeding it a variety of good veggies. This turtle will eat a lot of variety, a lot of greens, a lot of veg vegetable matter. We call that animal an omnivore because it will also eat animal proteins like shrimp and squid. But as they mature, they really move into the grass beds and chow down on those sea grasses all day long. As this turtle matures, that tail will either get really long as a boy turtle or it'll stay nice and short. She'll have those sweet little eyes as a girl turtle. The turtles have been protected now since the early 1970s part of their protection act that has helped them make a recovery in the wild. This is just one of the many turtles that we've helped over the years. So we've had hundreds of turtles come in the doors of the aquarium. And that's a big part of the Florida Aquarium's program is helping rescue sea turtles from the wild. Get them back on their flippers and release back out into the wild. And those are the real success stories that we love to brag about here. So what's happening right here is we're using what we call the turtle whisperer to call over our big green turtle flip. So hi, I'm Eric again here at the Florida Aquarium and I'm here with Jenny and we're calling over our big green turtle flip. You're gonna see flip in just a little bit here. In fact, she comes right over to her very own sign. That's right, our turtle can read. That's how well we work with turtles here at the aquarium. But Okay, we can read the sign, but she knows to come to that target, a 250 pound adult green turtle. Again, named Flip. She's got a home with us now at the aquarium for all of her life, which could, by the way, be 50, 60, 70 years. Now, if you look at our big gal pal, you notice she has a little tiny tail. And that's where, from the outside, you can tell that she's a girl. If she was a boy turtle, that tail would be about three times that long. It's one of the easy ways to tell them apart. Let's not forget, they're reptiles and they still breathe air even though they can dive down to dozens, if not hundreds of feet, but they hold their breath the whole time. So when you see her come up, you might see her take a big breath out, water squirt out her nose, especially when she's eating, like right on cue. Green turtles eat a lot of sea grasses. They have to munch on sea grasses all day long. This turtle has kind of a greenish brown coloration. They really aren't what I would call a green turtle except on the inside. We've come a long ways from the days that we regularly hunted turtles for their meat, we dug up their nests for their eggs, and all of this almost led to the extinction of this fantastic animal, the green turtle. But their numbers are making a comeback since their protection status back in the 1970s. 